from RVing TV and we're bringing you something new. This is a 2023 Holiday Rambler Vacationer 35 GL. Thank you to Holiday Rambler for bringing us in to look at this coach. Thank you to you guys for viewing the channel. So if you like this video, please click the like button. Please hit the subscribe. We are trying to get past the 10,000 subscriber mark so we can have more opportunities to bring you first time coaches so you can see them first. Now the Vacationer is a gas coach, but it's a luxury gas coach that takes diesel finishings, puts it on a gas chassis so that it can be a full timers coach. Extra insulation, uh, really well built, meant to be a full timers coach, but still within the price reach of the average person. Let's take a look at a couple of outside features and then we'll jump inside because I'm really curious to see this floor plan. I've only peeked my head in. I'm waiting to experience it like you guys. So, aluminum side swing doors, which is nice. You get good storage compartments. Several of them will be pass-throughs. This one is not. We'll have our propane here and a propane hookup below. As we swing this door open though, you'll notice the pass-through. It's a raised, raised up off the chassis, supporting the floor to give it a really great structure. Now, Holiday Rambler has been known for putting more of their weight below the floor line here to give better drivability and better stability. We have another pass-through compartment and then at the back we're gonna have a couple of other compartments here. Now our entertainment is locked at this time but there is a large entertainment center with flat screen TV. Let's take a walk inside and look at this coach. I'm going to just close the door behind us because it's starting to rain. When you come in, first thing you're going to notice is this really elegant residential fridge. Samsung full fridge. We'll pop this open just to give you an idea of the size of the fridge. It is massive and they've always used large fridges in the vacationers. French style fridge with our ice maker on board. Really nice light color in here. We have several drawers and this large compartment with two pull-out drawers inside and good height to be able to put taller items in there, whether it be water jugs, etc. Nice deep full extension drawers here solid surface countertops. Now these inserts lift up and out. Sorry, I had to twist the camera for a minute. You have a three burner range and then these will just drop right back in. But solid surface, tile backsplash behind real tile, convection microwave up top for cooking. Now, an abundance of storage throughout and great little ideas. Again, little pull out drawer to give you easier access. Storage above your home theater seats. And then as we spin around, we're going to show you the dining area and then the remainder of the kitchen. So we have this special dining area with the adapt -a table and that table has been found in the diesel coaches as well. Basically you could sit at the table the way it is right now. You could use it as a workspace. If you and your spouse are telecommuting, able to travel and work, you could set up two laptops here, sit next to each other, work away, not a problem. Now the other option that you can do is if you, and I'm going to try to do this one handed, actually I think what we'll do, I have not worked this table yet, so we are going to put the camera down here, see if we can give you a good view of this table. I believe we pull these latches back, we'll move the chair out of the way, the table swings to here, and then uh, there will be a rotating latch. Oh, 
there we go. And then there's a little uh, spring underneath that you put, that you pulled together, and that allows the table to rotate. And now you have a very large dining table. I'll pick up the camera again just to give you an idea of the size of the of the table. So now you have a large table that you could sit four people around for dining, be really, really comfortable around it. Then at the end of the day, when you're done, I'm going to put the camera back down here, guys. So we put this camera down here. And when you're done, basically we do the reverse. We reach underneath, squeeze the special fitting with the spring together, rotate this back, give it a gentle push, lock it in place, and our work area is back to what it was and ready for travel mode. So very inventive. I do like that idea because it gives you a convertible, sorry for twisting the camera while I'm reconnecting the microphone, gives you a convertible workspace that's easy to work with, but if you want to entertain, be able to swing it around and have a massive table. Above, we have our sound bar and flat screen TV and additional storage, and we will pop this open so you can see the adjustable shelves and get an idea of the depth of the cabinetry. Now, before we finish moving up front, let's look at the rest of the kitchen because you notice there was no sink on that side. So our sink is over here, so you really have two different prep areas, which is nice because someone could be cooking over here and your partner could be prepping over here and you're not tripping over each other like you would normally do in a regular coach. So you have that little bit of extra space. And I mean, this prep area here, if you notice, there's the two power bars that pop up, the power stations, another set of plugs right here. So there's a lot of power plugs and I'm just looking underneath the cabinet for any others. And you have six plugs in total and four USBs in this working station. There is a French, a uh, French style, a farmhouse sink. I keep thinking of the fridge being a French style fridge. Farmhouse stainless steel sink, very elegant, right there with the Corian inserts. And look at the storage down below as well as the storage up above. So let's pop this one open and we actually have two lazy Susan's in here because of the depth so you can get to your stored items really easy. Somebody's been thinking. Now let's go back, make our way forward. Here we have the precision circuits multiplex again. So as you can see, all our functions are available. Nice easy touch screen and you can get an app for your phone to do the same thing. Now, up front, when we look up, we have a height aloft that is a queen size height aloft, supports up to 500 pounds, and that drops down for sleeping. We have a Sony media screen in the center. I believe there's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on that. Always really nice supportive seats have always been found on the vacationers. Of course, we have automatic leveling. And then what I've also liked that Holiday Rambler does is we have our camera screen separate from our media screen. So we can have our cameras going all the time. Typically there's a try mode so you can see all three cameras at one time and then you have your media, your maps all running here on the Sony. There's also a workstation. Uh, here we go, workstation here that flips up and over if you need that little bit of extra space. And they've actually changed the way that works compared to a couple of years ago. The dog house is also lower than the competitors, easier to get in and out, and has the nooks and crannies to throw keys down there, and then three cup holders. When you rotate your seats around the driver's chair, 
also has a cup holder here if you need to rotate that around for additional gas. Now the flooring is a plank flooring, a vinyl plank flooring, so very durable. Now let's make our way back. If you've seen a couple of videos, I've been talking about the, the resurgence of walk-through midship baths, and here we have one. The nice thing with this is when you close this pocket door here and the pocket door back here, look at the size of the washroom you have. It's massive, so you have lots of room here to change when you get out of the shower. You have a sink outside, medicine cabinet, hi everyone. Big corner shower with the fiberglass surround. And I talk about fiberglass surround because it's easy to clean. It stands to wear and tear really well compared to the plastic surrounds that are found in the industry. And then you still have your water closet here that's separate with its own privacy door and a good countertop space. So if you and your partner are prepping to go somewhere, there's two sinks on board. And that was a popularity of a midship bath because two people could get ready and not be tripping over each other in a smaller gas coach rather than having to have a massive diesel. Plus, during the day, you have all this open space that is able to be used and the water closet is separate here on its own. As we come into the bedroom, you have a privacy pocket door, king size bed with a power tilt, and that allows you to set it at a nice comfortable level. Now, Holiday Rambler, being a partner to American Coach always uses great mattresses. So we have a nice thick mattress here that's comfortable for sleeping on. In the bedroom for wardrobe space, lots of wardrobe space. So let's take a look at this. We have a drawer here, nice and deep, full extension. Down in here, can anybody guess what we have? Yep, you're right. We have washer dryer as two individual pieces tucked away. Remember, Vacationer is built to be a full-timers coach. You're going to want, if you're living in this or taking long trips, that washer dryer. Then we have some storage space up here and nice large wardrobes for hanging and even a shelf above for more storage. Then we have our flat screen TV in the center and more storage off to the side. And there's our folding chairs. They're just tucked away back here for now, but those folding chairs are for the dinette up front and more hanging wardrobe. Also little nice ideas. There's our hot water heater bypass. So if you did have to winterize this coach, turn the handle, it's done. No taking cabinetry apart, flipping a bunch of little switches. It's all tucked away. Um, one thing I guess I should point out is the CPAP hideaway. You can put a CPAP machine up in there. There is an inverter on board, so that'll work overnight if you did need that. So something very different as floor plans go in the Vacationer and the ability to travel long term. I really like the thinking behind this 35GL in the way it's set up in the living area with the adapter table and this kitchen is really a great idea. Two separate areas for working but right together and you can go from prep to cooking or prep and cooking at the same time, giving you that flexibility. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That will help us get past the 10,000 subscriber mark and hopefully give us even more accessibility to some great coaches that we can bring to you. I hope these walkthroughs help. If you're in the market to upgrade a coach or you're new and you're looking for coaches, I'm trying to bring you floor plans that will give you a good representation and look at storage for your consideration if you're looking to get into the industry. If you are, I hope to see you out in some of the campgrounds. Uh, look for us. 
Make sure that you're living life to the fullest each and every day. And thank you to Holiday Rambler for giving us access to this brand new floor plan. Take care, everyone.